Hey guys, okay, so I am 37 weeks today, so I am technically full term, so I'm doing my 36th video, uh, pregnancy video log. Uh, not too much really, I guess, happened, nothing, I mean, all my symptoms were really the same. I still have, like, the acid reflux, and I'm just uncomfortable, um, which is, you know, really normal for this stage of the pregnancy. I'm just, you know, I'm ready to be done. I mean, I really want him to stay in there for a couple more weeks, like I said, you know, I want him to make sure everything's fine. He's fully cooked. But um, definitely it's starting to be at the end of the end of the race where I'm starting to give up. And I need to just kind of stay positive. Um, so I did have a doctor's appointment. I guess that's where I start. Um, and that was Thursday. And uh, if you uh, have, me, uh, uh, like, have like me on Facebook, you know some of this too. That's... Definitely what I recommend. I'm not going to do videos for my doctor's appointments. I'm going to be having them every Thursday. So if you're interested in what happened at my doctor's appointment, just like me on Facebook. I'll put most of the information there. I didn't get into it too much, um, but just kind of gave a brief description. Um, at my doctor's appointment, my blood pressure is high again. Um, surprise. And it's higher than it's been. So it's really, this is really starting to tick me off. Um, my pregnancy got, oh my, my pregnancy, I cannot talk either, okay, I just, <laughs> sorry. Um, with my daughter, my blood pressure got high right at the very end too, and that's when they wanted to induce me. So I have a, I just, I think, I really think that my doctor is going to want to induce me, and he's going to talk to me about this Thursday. That's my guess, I could be 100% wrong, but he is sending me to the hospital, which is right next to the doctor's office, um, to be monitored. Uh, or the baby to be monitored so just them hooked up to the machine basically seeing you know what he, all his vitals are and like a non-stress test basically and he also wants me to get an ultrasound now i'm assuming since he didn't give me my paperwork for an ultrasound he's just going to do the one that's in the office which is not obviously like a 3d one it's just a 2d regular thing um just i guess to check his position and you know see everything um when i went to the doctor he was not engaged um so he's near my pelvis he is head down but his head isn't basically like locked into place and engaging my pelvis um so he could still flip if he really wanted to i pray that he doesn't because i want to have this baby um you know vaginally not c-section so um that's what happened there i gained four was it four pounds i think it was four pounds so four pounds in two weeks so my weight gain is up to 21 pounds which i really only wanted to gain 20 pounds but it's my own fault i mean i I've, I've been eating just not good things so i mean i can just only blame myself and i need to lay off like the like snacks and so this week at the grocery store i bought more fruits and vegetables and did not buy the junk that i really wanted to buy so um sorry my nose is like it's really feels stuffy sorry i again that's a symptom i've had my entire pregnancy is a stuffy nose and i cannot wait to have that unstuffed um so yeah so my blood pressure has been high so i've been trying to take it more easy um, so then Thursday night, that, after my doctor's appointment, at about 4.30, started getting contractions. And they were definitely Braxton Hick contractions, because they do not even, like, compare to a real contraction. Uh, if it's your first baby, they, these might be painful for you, or you might not know what they are. Like, you might think they're real contractions, but once you have an official real contraction you can definitely distinguish between the two these felt like i've honestly have had worse period cramps um they were uncomfortable but they didn't like drop me to my knees now some of them were painful but they were pretty consistent these are my braxton hit contractions come and go i mean i'll have a couple a day and never consistent well for some reason i just looked at the clock my first one and that was at 4 38 and this is like my little sheet that i kept um, these are all the contractions I had. So down here to here. So they continued to 927. And I mean they were sporadic. They were 7, 9, 8, 7, 10, 9, 7, 6, 14, 8, 8, 9, 7, blah, blah. Like, and then towards the end they started like 13, 17, 9, 9, 8, 14, 11, 22, 11, 16. So they definitely started to space out more. But um, I just really couldn't believe 
the contractions I was having. And like I said, they weren't painful, so I didn't even call my doctor um, because my doctor, to basically cover his butt, is going to send me to the hospital. Um, I wasn't going at 9 o'clock at night. I just, they weren't even powerful. I was going to go there for them to say that it was false labor or Braxton had contractions. And knowing that his head wasn't engaged, I felt it was pointless. And they ended up going away. I decided to go to bed and I fell right asleep and didn't have any more. Whew, I'm out of breath. Which I talked about that in my last, well, in my slideshow, how out of breath I am. Um, he's definitely, he's dropped some, but he's not, like, he is still in my ribs. And I'm waiting every day for, to feel that pressure relieved out of my ribs because it's, I just out of breath so easily. So basically, what I think the contractions were were his head beginning to engage. Um, I could be 100% wrong. I am not a doctor. and um, But I do feel like he's lower. And I definitely feel that pressure. So maybe that's what it is. So I didn't get checked for dilation. Because there really wasn't a point. Since his head wasn't engaged. So I'm assuming that on this one. On my 37 week appointment. I might be checked for dilation. Um, depending on everything. Now I really do think my doctor is going to say. That I'm going to be induced. Just because. Um. They don't mess around with blood pressure. So, um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. Uh, my husband works two hours away. So, to actually have a set date and time that I would go in for an induction would be wonderful. Because then I would know he was home. And um, that would be great. But also, I don't like to kind of force something to happen. It's obviously way easier in your body when you let the baby come when he or she is ready. So... I have mixed emotions. Um, I don't want to be induced anytime soon. I mean, if I'm going to be induced, I really want to wait till I'm 39 weeks, which, you know, obviously would be two weeks from now. Um, just because we haven't got the carpet in, which I'll tell you more about that, um, at my daughter's birthday party. And just give him more time. Just because 37 weeks is technically full term, you know, his lungs may not be matured. And I just don't want to rush anything. So, obviously, if it's medically necessary that I be induced sooner than 39 weeks obviously I'm not going to endanger my health or the baby's health but I would like to wait as long as possible even let my body naturally go into labor um with my daughter I mean I I gave birth so quick um my mom says my body was made to give birth like my hips because I just have big old hips and um, I mean, my labor, my entire labor delivery from my first contraction to the moment that Shay was born was four hours, like four hours and 20 minutes. So that was it. So <laughs> I would kind of like, I'm afraid this one's going to go so quick if it goes quicker. So like to be induced would be kind of nice, just kind of, it might make it longer, but at least I knew my husband would be there. Um, I am going to do a video, uh, on my birth plan. I wrote that all down, so I'll be doing that soon. You'll have, see a lot of videos from me. Um, yeah, I'm really pee, uh, peeved, ticked off, pissed off. Um, my carpet is back ordered. So, they didn't even call us. We had to call them, and we called them Friday, because Friday was, like, the last day that I thought they would even call us, like, to say, oh, it came in, and blah, 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 blah. Well, it's back ordered. So it's not supposed to be in until this Friday, the 11th. That's like into the store, not into my house. So they still have to like come in and put it in. So I don't know. I'm hoping like I'm going to call them because my husband called them. But I'm going to call them now because pregnancy hormones gets things done. And I'm going to tell them, you know, I am nine months pregnant and this stuff needs to go in. Like, so everything's on a standstill and it's driving me nuts. I can't nest and I've been seeing people's nursery videos and some people like all my friends have been doing their nursery and they're further behind me and it's like to know that my nursery isn't ready it really ticks me off but I'm not stressing about it because if he comes early and before all this is done it doesn't matter he's not going to be sleeping in his room he'll be sleeping in my room so it's not the end of the world it's just I'm sitting here and I'm bored so that's just why you're going to get like tons of videos from me because I am bored I am literally been shopping online and I've been trying, like, to avoid walking as much, like, going places because, um, I don't want to, like, start my contractions up and I don't, like, I'm trying to keep him in. So I'm kind of, like, uh, resting more just with my blood pressure and everything else. And, um, so yeah. So that's pretty much my week. Um, I say not a lot happened, but 
that sounds like a lot because this video is probably going to be forever long and I'm sorry. See, I say this video is going to be forever and it cuts off on me because I hit my 10 minute mark. So I'm really sorry. I know I'm making long videos and I hope that you get through them, but I guess this is the last couple weeks, you know, there's more to talk about. So I think that's pretty much all that happened. So yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm not in a bad mood, but it just, it's aggravating. I'm bored. I'm really, really bored. Like yesterday, it was like raining here all day and it was a crappy day and my husband's on call for work so he, we couldn't go anywhere. Like, he did absolutely nothing and it drove me nuts. Like I just wish I could just do something, you know, productive. Like just, you know, anyways. But um, I did have a great Saturday with my daughter. Um, we decided to go celebrate her birthday early, like really early, but on my daughter's birthday, I always take her out. Um, to lunch and we always try to do something fun after lunch we've been doing it since she was three years old and you know it's just something we do it's just fun well since i will be 39 weeks pregnant and maybe already had the baby by then i figured we couldn't do it so we went and got our i got our haircut it's only her second haircut and um we got our nails done and we went out to lunch and i actually made a slideshow and i put it up on youtube but it was blocked in uh the united states and germany which all my music like slideshows are always blocked in Germany, but for the U.S., which most of my subscribers are from the U.S., um, I just took it down. Um, it's because I have the song "I Got a Feeling" by the Black Eyed Peas, and I guess they won't allow it. Um, so it's on my Facebook page if you want to check it out. So I'll put the link for all that below. And I also just announced the winners to my giveaway, um, my small pregnancy giveaway. So check that out if you um, haven't already seen it. It's already uploaded. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to just attach a picture of my belly um, to this from my 36 week belly. Um, and I think that is it. So I'm sorry this video is so long and I will talk to you guys sometime during this week. I'm going to be doing my birth plan. I have like a breastfeeding haul because I have gone crazy on breastfeeding supplies. So I figured I'd do like a haul and also just kind of show you, talk about, you know, my thoughts on breastfeeding. So, okay, I'm going to stop talking because I'm out of breath and you're probably getting tired of watching this. So, I hope everyone has a great day and I will uh, talk to you sometime this week. Alright, bye guys.